the draw to an 18th Grand Slam title, which he had been targeting, since winning Wimbledon in 2012, had never looked more inviting for Roger Federer, when he stepped on the court, to play Marin Silic late Saturday afternoon in the semifinals of the United States Open. Gone were all other members of the Big Four fraternity, the axis of dominance, that had claimed 36 of the last 38 men's tennis majors, from the French Open in 2005 to Wimbledon this summer. Rafael Nadal did not play the tournament, because of an injured wrist. Andy Murray went out in the quarterfinals to Novak Djokovic, the top seed, who was stunned Saturday by Kane Shikari in the first semifinal at Steamy Arthur Ashe Stadium. After a rain-delayed start, all Federer had to do was defeat the 16th-ranked and 14th-seeded Silic, too, whom he had never lost, to establish himself as the heavy favorite in Monday's final against Nishikari, the first Japanese man to reach a slum final. He could not come close. The execution was swift and convincing. Silic overpowered Federer, 6-3, 6-4, 6-4 and perhaps, with Nishikari, sent a message to the world, that the Big Four reign was no more, or approaching its end. Silic said that Stan Warrington's victory at this year's Australian Open opened the door for the second line. Most of the guys have a bigger belief. He said. While saying later that he believed it was exciting for the game to have different faces. Federer disagreed with the notion, that the Big Four was history. You said the same thing in Australia, everybody. He said. And then we know what happened at the French Open final, Wimbledon final? He added. I don't think so, but? He knew it had to be asked. Equally questionable is how many more chances? At least, as good as the one he appeared to have here? The 33-year-old Federer will get to pad his record 17 slams. He naturally preferred to characterize the defeat as a singular event, saying. Marin played great. I maybe didn't he catch my best day, but I think that was pretty much it in a nutshell. Silic, a 6'6 six six Croat, 2 inches taller than his idol and coach, Gran Ivanovic, called the 1 hour 45 minute route the best performance ever in my career. Silic, who was suspended for 4 months from the sport last year, after testing positive for a banned substance, had too much weaponry for Federer, especially his serve. Federer managed just two break points in the match, converting one to take a 2-2 lead in the third set. The crowd roared with the belief, or hope, that he might mount another comeback from two sets behind, as he did in his quarterfinal against Gael Monfils. Federer knew, or at least sensed, otherwise. He was serving huge. He said. I knew the margins were slim. Silic broke Federer again for a 4-3 lead, moving well for a big man to step around his backhand, and rifle a forehand winner off a short angle, sliced Federer backhand. Serving for the match at 5-4, Silic blew three straight aces by Federer for triple match point. In the stands, Ivan Zinovic? whose Wimbledon victory over Patrick Rafter in 2001 was on a rain-delayed Monday afternoon in front of a raucous crowd. Took a deep breath. Silic, for his part, said. I was very relaxed. He finished off his masterpiece with a two-fisted backhand down the line. With his heavy ground strokes, Silic was the steadier player from the backcourt forcing Federer back during rallies and making him watch too many winners sail into the open court. Federer admitted being surprised by Silic's consistency. I think he was quite erratic before, especially from the baseline. He said. But Federer? Who beat Silic in a close three-set match last month in Toronto? Also acknowledged that Silic, a 25, had been an earnest and maturing competitor especially after returning from his suspension and working with Ivan Zinovic. Instead of the anticipated Federer-Djokovic replay of the Wimbledon final, along with the multiple Grand Slam winners Stefan Edberg Federer and Boris Becker Djokovic as their coaches, it will be Ivan Zinovic against Michael Chang, one of Nishikori's coaches.
Ivan Zinovic Wimbledon and Chang French Open each won one Grand Slam title during their careers, and were as much a contrast in size and style as Silic and Nishikari. While Silic represents the generation of taller players many have believed will inherit the sport, Nishikari is 5 to 10 and 150 pounds, a scrapper in the image of Chang, generously listed at 5 to 9 during his playing days. For Federer, whether it was a case of having no snap in his legs after the Monfils escape or just catching Silic on his best day, the defeat had to be dispiriting after how promising the summer had been. Making the finals at Wimbledon and winning the pre-open event in Mason, Ohio. He said he would continue the pursuit of his 18th slam, although he added, I don't need it to be happy or anything. His voice was subdued at the end of another trophyless Grand Slam season. A day that seemed to develop with so much promise, so much hope, had given way to talk of a toss-up. Calling the Shikari an unbelievable talent. Federer said he was more surprised by Silic's advance to the final. Who is the favorite? He said. Nobody really knows? That is the first residual effect of nobody from the big four showing up.